Good morning, I'm Tanya Lyon and this is your OC Metro Minute for Monday, April 2, 2012. In this morning's Orange County Business News headlines, Mazda's new concept car prepares for debut. The Irvine-based automaker is set to introduce its newest concept car, the Takari, at the New York International Auto Show later this month. The car is the brand's first concept vehicle to feature their new clean diesel Skyactiv D engine, Mazda's suite of high mile per gallon performance enhancing technologies. The mid-size sedan is also the third to feature the automaker's new Kodo design strategy, including a new streamlined roofline and swooping hood. Mazda Motor Corps' president Takashi Yamanuchi described the automaker's design initiative at last year's Los Angeles Auto Show, saying that, quote, Kodo, which translate as soul of motion, draws inspiration from the strength, beauty, and tension in the swift movement of animals. Kodo captures the harnessed energy of the moment and makes hearts race in those people who see it in our cars, end quote. Now from cars to roadways, California Governor Jerry Brown has appointed Lucy Dunn, CEO of the Orange County Business Council, to a second four-year term on the powerful California Transportation Commission. A leading Republican, Dunn is a veteran policymaker and one of the leading voices in business statewide. Her reappointment by the Democratic governor is a big win for Orange County, which many believe has one of the best networks of highways and is a model for transit planning. Dunn was first appointed to the commission in 2008 by then-Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, Vente or Vino? That choice could be coming to a Starbucks near you. The coffee giant plans to launch their new beer and wine program in Southern California in select locations, including two right here in Orange County by the end of the year. Starbucks locations in Huntington Beach and Rancho Santa Margarita are two of just four to six locations in the nation that will sell a selection of wine and beer. Store menus have not been set, but according to the Orange County Register, the cafes will cater to the, quote, taste preferences of the customer base, end quote. The selected locations will also undergo a remodel to add seating. I'm Tanya Lyon, and that was your OC Metro Minute. Check ocmetro.com throughout the day for continued local business coverage. Thanks for watching.